All right, so welcome to Musical Listening. Uh, we're going to talk about the amazing Slow Downer here. If you're new to this channel, uh, consider subscribing. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Let me know what else you'd like to see here. Uh, and this is the first in a series of videos about this app because there is so much great stuff about this app in here. And so uh, this is just an introduction to see if this might be for you, uh, to see if uh, it could work for you uh, for what you need. And I'm going to show you uh, what I think are the two greatest features of this app. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, I'm going to be using this uh, Star Spangled Banner version here, uh, orchestral version uh, from our friends over at Epidemic Sound, uh, royalty free music site. If you're interested in that, uh, I'll put a link down in the description below. There's some great advantages to uh, downloading this version of Star Spangled Banner. Uh, they give you the different stems with the different uh, tracks. Uh, separating out some of the parts. So for if you're practicing this or doing it with your ensemble, um, that might be of some use to you. All right, so here we go. Open it up here. Now, of course, as the title suggests, slowing it down and keeping it at speed uh, is the number one reason to use this app. So let's just play a little bit here. Ah, still such a great piece of music. Okay, now, um, up here is the slider, all right, for the speed, all right, and I can speed it up, okay, all right, or I can slow it down. Um, say you're trying to uh, really get those dotted rhythms correct, or you're working on this with your ensemble and trying to get those dotted rhythms correct, or that simple crash, uh, giving them a little more, more time to learn this uh, piece here, so let's back it up and listen to it at 80%. And you can keep going. Of course, you know the the slower you go, uh, the more the quality will be distorted. Now you can change the quality settings over here in settings. If you look over here in the lower right hand corner, uh, we're going to go into that in another video. All right, but just know that you can you can get pretty slow. Just to give you an idea, if you did go way down here just a little bit. You can imagine that you know if you're playing something fast, really fast, um, being able to slow it down and play along, really incredibly helpful. Uh, you know, it is amazing as the title of the app suggests. Now, I believe equally important to the slowing down and keeping things at pitch is the start and end, or what you might know as A B repeat. And I'm going to hit this little loop button here. All right, because looping in practice is such a great thing. And of course, depending on your ensemble or who you're practicing this or why you're practicing this, you know, coming in on that pickup there after the big drum roll, that might be something you want to repeat and practice, for example. So let's just go ahead and hit play. I'm just going to leave the start at the beginning here. Let's get this back up to and it's going to loop that opening. Bit long. 
long. I don't need quite that much. I'm really trying to be effective with my practice, all right? And so I can go back and kind of change the start to be a little closer to that pickup. And there are a couple of other things I won't go to in this video. This is just an introduction um, that you can do with loops. So be sure and come back and check that out. And there's going to be more videos about Amazing Slow Down and all the great features that are in here. So uh, be sure and look up in the cards and down in the description for those. And I'll put them in a playlist here on the channel. All right. Well, let me know what you think and uh, enjoy the Amazing Slow Downer. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, think about hitting the subscribe button. Appreciate it.